Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Um, today I'm at Corfe Castle. Uh, if you watched the last vlog, me and Paul ventured out to Old Harry Rocks, which is about five or six miles from here. And on our way home, we decided to stop here. And the sky started to change. And I don't know if you watched the last one. In the last vlog, uh, we were there maybe about midday sort of time. It's about 2.30, 3 o'clock now. And uh, the sky was very grey. We didn't have much light at all. It was very hard photography. Uh, yeah, it was very hard photography, but we still got some really nice images. Um, <clears throat> if you haven't seen that vlog already, it's the one just before this one. And um, on our way home, we thought we'd stop here. So we're here now. So we have just come to the east side of the castle, hoping to catch some sunlight because the sky did open up just a minute ago. But as it stands right now, it's actually not that nice. It's kind of gone grey and murky again so I'm hoping there's a bit of a break up in the cloud sometime soon and uh, I can get a bit of light on on actually uh, on Corf Castle and um, yeah just add a bit of dynamic range because it's just so flat at the minute it's going to take a lot of work to to make this image look nice. Uh, compositionally I've set up here on the side of the hill um, and it's quite a nice it's a quite nice image and it would really work if I had some really nice sky. Um, but I have, I've set up on the hill, across the hill, so I have the hill running down from the right to the left hand side of the image. And then Corfe Castle is set up on the, um, on the right hand side. And the sky is quite nice at the minute. There is um, a lot of depth to the clouds and I've just got an ND filter on just to bring back some of that detail um, so I don't lose it. So now it's just a waiting game really and waiting for the, uh, waiting for the sun to just, just shed a little, little bit of light on the castle and then I'm gonna and I'm gonna grab the image. So I'm set up at a 20th of a second on F11 at ISO 100. struggling with the light. Um, I got I got an image just a minute ago further around the hill and but there's just no light and now we've come around the side managed to find Paul because he disappeared and um, I'm trying to escape <laughs> and uh, we've set up a very similar composition to one another and now it's just a case of waiting to see if there's going to be any break up in the clouds right above us there's um, like blue patches in the cloud, so we're hoping some sunlight comes through maybe in about 10 or 15 minutes or so but then the sun is going to go down how long have we got till sunset maybe half an hour so it's very unlikely so i've tried to do a few images normal images i've tried some with the 10 stop in i've tried some with the 6 stop in and i've managed to get a decent enough image shooting a hdr with a two stop hard edge on the sky as that's the only sort of image I could find that's got enough dynamic range and enough detail for me anyway. But um, yeah, really struggling for light. It's definitely gonna be a good place to do a uh, sunrise though. There's like two hills adjacent to one another. Um, and then the castle is in between. So on the other hill would be ideal for a sunrise and then on this hill be ideal for a sunset. As long as you've got no cloud and you have light. <laughs> unlike us right now. So yeah, here's that HDR image that I just took just a minute ago. And now we're gonna wait out for maybe 10 or 15 minutes to see if we get any more light. And fingers crossed we can, because it would make for a really nice shot. Definitely paid off. Earlier on, it was 
grey, dark, murky, and wasn't really working. I got some okay images, but they weren't good. And um, sat in there for maybe about 20 minutes. And thankfully, those little blue patches that we saw above us have now gone towards the west. And the sky has lit up. It's not great, but it's nice. And the clouds are moving towards the west. So I stuck a 10 stop in and I'm exposing for about 90 seconds, 100 seconds, a minute and a half, that sort of area. And it's just enough time to give me enough light for the foreground. And I've also got a two stop grad on the sky, but it's just enough time to let the clouds be wispy and moving. And um, yeah, adds a lot of depth to the image. It makes it look really, really nice. Yeah, so here's that image, F11, about 100 seconds, 90 seconds, ISO 100, big stopper and a two stop grad on the sky and it's definitely worth waiting for. Managed to get some really nice shots at the end there, and it's definitely worth waiting for when you get something like that. It just makes you, oh, it just, it just makes it worth, wow, it just makes it worth while sitting there for a while, just waiting, hoping that you get some sort of light to just, it just makes the image rather than before where it was just completely flat. Like the first image was really hard um, to work with, but that last image, I think it was about a two and a half minute exposure that's the one that you uh that you sit out waiting for so um yeah really chuffed to bits with those images and i'm going to wrap this one up here so thanks for checking in if you haven't subscribed to my channel already please do consider it and uh give us a little comment and a like and i'll see you in the next one bye for now mm -hmm.